It's been a while since I've been out at the 65 houseboat, and it's about time I got going on that again. So here we are. Let's go have a look inside and decide what we're going to do today. Oh yeah, I forgot I left a piece of the ceiling laying in the middle of the floor. Well, I guess we can clean up some of that. I need to get up top and see where all the soft spots are. Maybe rip out a few more pieces of ceiling. Definitely clean up the crud. Yeah, I think I'll be taking home a truckload of stuff that is burnable. Okay. That does not bode well. Definitely going to clean out this cabinet some. I think some general cleaning would be good. Maybe try to take off some of this paint just in spots to see if it's doable. Need to measure windows for my mom who volunteers at a thrift store and probably get me a pretty good deal on some curtains from the time period we're looking for. So, all right, well, that's a start. Oh, and getting the tree off the deck. That's pretty freaking important. <laughs> I promised mom I'd measure the windows, so I better do that first so I don't forget. So, measure the windows in the dining area, front door, and the area by the kitchen and the captain's chair. I think that's really all I need to measure. Those are the only ones I asked her to search for curtains for. So that's what I'm doing first. It would be pretty nice to have this on video. So I can just kind of yell out the dimensions, write them down later. So someone cut out the window, the original window bigger to add another inch and a half. Um, so I'm just gonna measure the larger windows So that one is 57 inches. By 32 inches. And then the window that's in the door, again from the outside of the frame because that's where the curtains will be, is 44 and a half. by 16 and a half. A window with the cool little windshield wiper in front of the captain's seat. Outside frame dimensions are 30 and a half by 20. And the window by the captain's seat on the side and the kitchen Outside frame is 41 by 30 and a half. And it's all duct taped shut. I'd really like to open this thing so get some air going in here, but probably better not do that right now. There's a reason it's like that, and I want to be able to shut it up when I leave. So we'll just get hot. Next, I'm going to pack up this stuff that's just sitting around because all it's going to do is get in the way. So, I'm going to do that. It would help if I put my glove on my right hand. <laughs> so, I'm going to get it out of the way. And most of it's going in the trash bag. And stuff I want to keep is going in the bucket. Hopefully, that'll work. I decided I wanted to go with the original wood front cabinets instead of the carpet covered version. So, I'm going to rip this off. I'm not sure how much of an improvement that is, but we're going to go with it. I think I can do something with that eventually. Heat gun, sander, new piece of wood. <laughs> like, we'll just see what it takes. 
here is the current condition of the bathroom. A whole bunch of insulation, mouse nests, and stuff in there. I cleaned out the carpet to where you can see the walls and kind of the floor. But there's a lot of work to be done in here. My goal is just to get the rest of the crud out and tackle the construction part another day but gonna get this cleaned out too bathroom has been cleaned out it is far from spotless but you can see the floor and you can tell where the shower used to be and where the toilet used to be there's a portable toilet that was sitting there and I'm gonna take it home and deal with it there not really feeling like dealing with that right here. And there is a towel rack on that side. Really cool window. And another towel rack. Or washcloth rack, I guess, because that would be in the shower. And then there's a pretty cool built-in medicine cabinet that might be salvageable. So, have plenty of work to do in here, but progress has been made. Looking at these um, beams that support the roof and notice that they are sloped. So they're cut out of two by fours, but they are not straight across two by fours. So I'm going to take some measurements here and I think cut them at home where my shop is and count up how many I'll need and make them there and bring them back here and hope that works. I decided to measure this beam now since I had the tape measure out already anyway and haven't lost it yet. So let's do that. Convenient little hole in the roof over there. And then on the ends, one and three quarters, and it just tapers from there. So nothing fancy to it. Table saw ought to be able to handle that. So three and a half in the middle, one and three quarters on the ends. Yep, that's right. All right. And they are spaced 12 and a half inches on center. So figure out how many of those I will need. If I have to replace them all, like we'll just figure I'll replace them all and then it'll be a happy surprise if that's not necessary. It's about time I did something about this front deck getting it cleaned off. So this tree, I think, probably has to be out of here. Nobody needs an elm tree growing on their front porch. Certainly not of a boat, so.
it's not perfect, but that is considerably better. No piles of leaves and dirt. No trees and vines. Cord is untangled. The rope's hanging on the cool little bell out front. Ding, ding, ding. Time for ice cream. Need to clean the window. Still need to figure this out, but I'm really loving this little windshield wiper thing. The storage area under the dining room benches has been cleaned off. I'm taking the cushion home to either wash or figure out what I'm going to do to replace them. I just vacuumed out inside the cabinets. There's a piece of trim I took down. I didn't get to the rest of the trim. I will deal with that another day. It's getting late. I still need to go home and mow. In the kitchen, the cabinets have all been cleaned out. There's a few cleaners I left in the sink, vacuumed out the cabinets, including those, vacuumed off the countertop and the kitchen stove, took things out of these cabinets and vacuumed them. Nothing has been deep cleaned. There's no point in doing that one. I'm still going to rip out the ceiling. Oh, I did leave a couple pieces of aluminum in there. I might grab them and throw them in the truck. But anyway, it's mostly empty. Okay, so it is dark and I got home. And this is, this is what my loaded down truck looks like. I did have a red flag on there and I just took it off. And then I figured I would shoot this video. So there's part of the railing. There's chat welcoming me home. Hey, chat cat. There's part of the railing that goes around the boat and a bunch of trash and some lounge chairs that go with it and more railing. I don't even know what's all in there. I will go through it another day. <laughs> all right, I'm going in the house. I will unload this sucker tomorrow. Good night.